Well, this is highly uninteresting scenery. <laughs> uninteresting, is that what you said? Yeah, for that stretch. Yeah. Phoenix, Arizona, where it is 115 degrees outside, which is why you park in the shade. The only problem with parking in the shade? None of it. <laughs> is that everything else wants to park in the shade, all the living creatures. So, there is a lot of poop on my windshield. <laughs> We are heading to Globe Superior, and I think it's called Pinal Peak, for hiking today. Rock hounding, hiking, and mining, because we're crazy. Okay, we use this Endomundo app, and it keeps track of your calories and uh, the distance you've traveled by GPS and uh, the altitude and, every, and a whole bunch of uh, different information, but it's really good to track your location. If you start it from where you park, it basically tracks where your car was and where you are and where you've traveled. So it's a good, it's a good way to keep track of your location when you're hiking. So we're at the Sulphide Del Rey campgrounds in Arizona. And right here, Right here. Is a moonstone. Definitely cool. Just found what I think is a lot of granite. Giant granite stones everywhere. And all of them look like that. But they look, they look really similar, if it would focus at all. They look really similar to Dalmatian Jasper, especially when they're tumbled. It's neat. Definitely a neat stone. Walking through the forest, and then you come across that thing. A shelter? It couldn't have just fallen that way. No, totally not. It's totally a shelter. There's, they put they put stones in there just to hang out. Unless by chance this huge tree fell around these rocks and made a giant shelter with twigs, that would be a thing. Should I get in it? You can get in it if you want. Go ahead. If there's bugs in there, if bugs there, you can run out here. No. So yeah. Well, you're tiny. No. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. Let's keep going. Yeah. But that's cool though. Yeah. What are you? You are super, super red. Why are you red? And nothing, nothing else. Nothing else is red. Except you. You're, you're a weird tree. Crazy, crazy red tree. Sometimes being unique is a good thing. And sometimes you're just a tree in the forest. It's like, you're like the fuzziest cabbage ever. Are you fuzzy? Oh, you are fuzzy! You're like a furry cabbage! <laughs> You're weird! You're like... Oh, I hope that isn't something that's gonna make me itchy later. No. It turns into this. Was that D... Like a defuzzled? Yep. Defuzzled cabbage? Fuzzy cabbage? Defuzzled cabbage? I guess it's really good for collecting dew. I mean, if you really need water in the desert of Phoenix. I guess fuzzy's good. Unless it's pokey, in which case you're like, go away. So this is from Rack Hounding. This is a geode. It's called a thunder egg. And it looks, somebody explained it to us, like a stone brain. It looks like a brain. 
and a thunder egg is a geode that's crystallized all the way through. So there's, it's actually, it's actually not hollow. It has crystals all the way as solid through. So if you cut it with a, a saw, it might actually look pretty amazing. This is probably the inside of a geode. It has really, really tiny crystals in it. It's called pixie quartz in, in these little cracks. This, this is jasper. This is actually red jasper with black jasper inside. And black jasper is sometimes confused with obsidian, but uh, obsidian is volcanic glass. And jasper is actually quite hard. It's a hardness scale of seven, just like quartz. This we think is yellow jasper. Similar. I'll find the riverbed and the riverbeds and things. Oh, that's rock hounding. Just some random rocks finding on the side of the riverbeds and the roads.